Welcome to the Small Business Office Showcase, where daily we provide you a quick tour of a government agency's small business portal or something similar from a large prime. We understand that as a small business, time and resources are limited. We hope by quickly summarizing this information, we save you time and perhaps put you one step closer to your next contract. In this episode, we're going to focus on the National Security Agency. To make it easier for you to quickly do your own research, the links we're going to discuss will be in the description below. In each episode, we're targeting six pieces of information we think are most valuable to you. Does this agency have a small business portal? Does this agency list out events it hosts or attends so you can plan well in advance? Is there a forecast for the next 12 to 24 months that will help you identify opportunities? Does this agency provide a list of current primes that have an obligation to subcontract to small businesses? Is there any special registration required for this agency other than what's required for the entire federal government? Finally, is there a list of people available that you can reach out to for help or to get questions answered? You can see the basic results on this slide, but let's go ahead and get started with our quick tour. The first step is to find out whether they have an OSDABU portal or small business portal, and they do. Um, the NSA actually does a really great job on their small business information. Uh, it's phenomenal, it's especially considering the fact that they're basically um, in the intelligence community and everything they do is, uh, you know, super secret. For them to put out this kind of information to small businesses that help us understand how to do business with them is phenomenal. There's no, nothing's hidden. Um, this menu across the top right here, this blue menu, is their entire uh, site's menu. So it's everywhere. And one of the most important things that they thought to showcase was how to do business with the NSA. And I thought that was just phenomenal. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, so they definitely have a good portal right here. It's a good starting point. Let's go back. The next thing we're looking for is do they have an event? They do. So let's come to the page. So in here, they have a, a whole bunch of different type of events that they have, but they also have really clear communication. For example, you need to be a citizen to get in there. Um, you need to be registered. There's a lot of registration. We'll come back and talk about that in a second. Um, but they have different types of showcases. They have the technology showcase. Um, they have these 15-minute uh, meet and greets, basically business in a minute is what they're calling it. Um, and then they have a couple others. So you want to come to this page and really check it, take a look at it. I'm not going to talk about all of them, but uh, they do a good job with conferences and events. Just keep in mind you must be registered in order to attend any of the events. The next thing that we're asking about is forecast, and I'll just say subcontracting as well. I couldn't find any listings, but that's not um, unusual at all, especially with an agency like NSA. This information is sensitive at best. I don't know how they would classify it, but... Um, you know, you're really not trying to put that information out, but I'm pretty positive the minute you start talking with them and you get um, a provisional clearance, then you might be able to begin to have some of these conversations. And I'm going to point that out again it's, as soon as we come back to that doing business page. So the next one is registration. Uh, there is a registration site, and I'm just going to go to it really quick. In here, it talks about how you need to be registered, obviously, in SAM, and then they have this um, environment where you need to go NSA ARC. And right now it's not working. The Acquisition Resource Center is not working. Um, I thought it was an issue that I had uh, because they do provide some guidance on troubleshooting if you can't get to it, but it didn't work for me. So I'm going to try to reach out to them and find out what's going on with it. Uh, and just for the fun of it, we'll click on it one time. It talks about you're leaving the NSA. And we'll let that guy kind of come up over here. So it better not come up because the whole time, <laughs> the whole time I was preparing for this, I tried it multiple times and it didn't. But this is what I'm trying to do for you in these videos is to, is to walk this through. Okay, so it can't reach it here. I don't want you troubleshooting it. I'll troubleshoot it for all of us uh, with NSA, and then they'll either fix the page or I'll come back and give you just another update. But let me go ahead and come back to the last one. Are there contacts for here? And there are some. Keep in mind, again, because of the nature of NSA, um, they don't put people's names out here or direct contact information, but they do provide us ways to reach the organization. And um, so here you can see that there's different emails as you come down. I, th I thought it was great. This um, NSA set aside for small business is a, um, it's an IDIQ type vehicle that um, they put out there and you have a person who you can contact. Clearly you're contacting an organizational email, but um, a, a way to reach out to them, a separate way to reach out to people and talk about, hey, I'm a small business. How can I do some work with you guys? So let me kind of come up. That was the points of contact page. I did want to come back to this doing business with uh, the NSA because I thought it was just so great. I'm going to do a little bit more talking in this video, 
and take us in. Right here on the doing business, it's this guide that walks you through. And they have um, this business programs and resource page that I'd like to just point out. I wasn't sure where to put it on my slide, but I wanted to point it out for you because they have all sorts of good information. I already talked about the set aside for small business vehicle, um, but in here it talks about how you can get a provisional industrial security approval. Basically, how do you get a clearance for NSA to have a conversation with them? Um, you know, it's like the Fight Club, right? The first rule of Fight Club is to not talk about the Fight Club. Well, the NSA is kind of that same way, except for here is how you can begin to learn about the uh, NSA. And so you want to get registered and then get started in here. So keep that in mind. I don't know if they pronounce a piece of program office, but, you know, reach in there and find out about your provisional approval, and that allows you to begin to start knocking on doors and learning more about the NSA as you try to do business with them. So let me go ahead and come on back here. That concludes this walkthrough. I hope you found information helpful as you continue to grow your business. Please provide any comments below or reach out to me directly. If you have any questions, use my email address that's in the description. Uh, if you liked it and found it valuable, share it on social media or give it a thumbs up. I'm your host, Neil McDonald with SV MacPack. I thank you for joining me today and hope you'll join me again for more video tours.